What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, hopefully you guys are all doing fine with all this um, pandemic going on. Um, I just feel like it's getting worse and worse and worse. But um, just mask up. Um, just do your part. Don't just don't be one of those people, you know? Those people that don't want to wear a mask because it's like they say they, they have like, I don't know, freedom of speech or their right or something. But yeah, hope you guys are all doing good. Um, let's do a top 10 things about this car um, that I don't like. There are many some. Some are very nitpicky. Uh, if you do own like a Dodge Challenger or a Dodge Charger, um, you'll understand where I'm coming. If you're looking for a Dodge Challenger Charger, um, I think some of the uh, spectics are almost the same. But Also, uh, don't mind the long hair. I can't get a haircut. Yeah, it's been like two months. Alrighty, let's start off on the interior of the car. Okay, so my biggest problem is going to be this. Number one. This. Okay, if you're trying, if you're trying to shift with this, or even if you have paddles, say if you have a bunch of drinks right here, okay? Because I, I was just on a trip, and then sometimes I like you know shifting on on a on a highway or something. But if you have drinks, like I have this drink right here, and I have this tea from the trip as well too. Like, okay, look at this. So, yeah, like your just hands is right in the middle between all the drinks. Okay, and then just imagine this had a straw too. You have to be like this trying to shift. Because, you know, pa paddles are good for like a straight road. I mean, I think. But sometimes I just like using this because I feel like this response is a little bit more faster. I don't know, I don't know if, if that's just me, but yeah. Number two is going to be the hood. Okay. Um, I get it. These are, these are big cars. The Chargers are big cars. The Challengers are big cars. I love my car. It's just I hate some of the things the hood's way too long like it looks like i'm right up against the garage i probably at least have about like probably like five feet to actually hit the garage but from right here i mean yo it looks like it's like a foot away and don't mind the car it's dirty <laughs> but yeah three is gonna be the cameras i wish the front had a front camera I know, I, don't, I, I think there's sensors, but I don't have a sensor on my car, so I don't know how it is with the sensor for the front, but yes, I really wish they had cameras in the front, because sometimes it is very hard, very hard to see those curbs up, up front. All right, so next is this gas cap. I really wish they locked this. I'm pretty sure there's aftermarkets, you know, that, that you can, you know, get like a key and lock, but Anybody can get into your gas, siphon gas, or you know, just fuck up the whole engine. But yes, that is right. Another one. So fifth, the most important part, I think, peep out the new uh, mats I got. Uh, they're all standing because I went to the beach. It's going to be the trunk. We all know the Chargers have that nice trunk that goes up, but. See how, how it only pops a little bit. That's as much as you're getting. And they gotta manly lift it. Pete the beach towel from the trip. But yeah. I find I find that annoying. Cause you know, cause sometimes I just wish this just goes up, but not really. Or you just press this button. That's all you're getting. Wish it could be a charger and just swing up like that. That would be amazing. You all know if you own a Dodge Challenger. I don't know. If, I don't know if this is about Chargers too, but um, once you wash it, once you close this hood, water just drips all right here, all right here. It just drips bad. You can see some drips already. Usually, what I do is I just put like towels right there and just let it, just let it dry as much as possible. But yeah, that is another thing that I hate. All right, seventh. We're back in the car. It's gonna be these seats. Don't mind my mask. Don't mind my knife. Don't mind my bolt. I gotta put back somewhere. Uh, these seats, okay? These, I mean, the seats are comfy, you know? The seats are good. I like them. But we all know that some are powered. You know, that's the luxury of this car. Up, down. Um, you can adjust. I don't know what that. I think this is for the back. 
this is I think, I think this is if you have an arch but the real thing is the power okay so you're not gonna have power on this side at all okay if someone wants to come to the back that side they have to pull this little lever pull that lever pull down the seat and it just takes forever so i really wish dodge fixes that you know how hard is it just to put an extra seat with a power i mean yeah just copy and paste from this seat to that seat yo i mean yeah all right the next thing i don't know this is a big thing this is a big thing for me too are gonna be these exhaust tips okay so that silver part you see you see right there that's just plastic that's not even like aluminum like exhaust tip there's the actual exhaust like right in there but um yeah i really wish they take away these vacuum seals it looks like someone has a vacuum on the other side of the, on the other side and just trying to clean up or something but yes these exhaust tips are not doing like at least you know like you know how chargers just have like the single tips on both sides i wish these had that as well they maybe even double so two there two there that would be amazing part on dodge and that will literally change the way it looks from behind all right for the ninth thing i wish these vents were actually functional they're not really functional these vents are just for looks i mean i'm pretty sure it's not hard to swap these out with actual functional ones but that's something i wish they did on the challengers actually i uh, hopefully they hopefully they would do it on all of them you know but yeah i wish those were functional that's the ninth my ninth little zonk Alrighty, and tenth at the final number 10 are gonna be i fixed it but having splash guards splash guards have saved me so much debris from kicking back onto the paint i actually did did those installment on, on the youtube channel if you guys want to check that out and there's some back there i'll show you guys right now but yeah these are a lifesaver i got them for like 45 bucks i think and then here's the back one this is the back one too so yeah just look at like all the debris and gunk that I, that I just kicked up but yeah that's number 10 i have these all around for 45 bucks it was pretty easy to put on if you want to know how to put these on go watch my my other um video it's somewhere on my channel top tens i'm actually gonna get my tires rotated right now because it, it, hopefully i mean tire rotation like is like i don't know like estimate like 50 to like i don't know 100 bucks from what i read i haven't got my tires rotated so and these are somewhat new tires so it has to be done soon but um yeah let's see what this place charges me i swear if it's like 100 bucks or more i'm kind of gonna be pissed like i just need to get rotated and balanced you know safe safe your tire tread you know Alrighty, y'all that tire rotation is zero dollars yeah I, I think the reason why is that i got my tires from les schwab so i think that's the reason why there's zero bucks but i finally got these rotated though thank god but um yeah nice all right y'all so that is my top tens for uh reasons that i don't like about the car some are little flaws you know like i said so um yeah um thank you for watching um so subscribe if you want uh, i'm trying my best to post as much as i can all right see you guys